so for today we'll be teaching you how to add and remove software uh, on Linux so to begin if you know the name of the software it's very simple if you know the name of the software is just to enter the command sudo sudo apt space get and you put in the name of the command sudo apt get you can say install for instance install we put the name of the command example cve search this is actually a linux tool that we use the local tool as it for performing local searches for known vulnerabilities right so it is a tool for performing local um searches for known vulnerabilities it's called cve search it's a tool so with this now since i know the name of the tool for instance i can just type it and hit enter all right so let's just watch it so you can see it's viewed, unable to locate package cve search so it's unable to find this particular um software or tool as the case may be the so next thing we want to try is the sudo well, let's try another approach sudo app install install of cve search let's try this let's see All right, still unable to locate the package. Okay. So another method I can devise now is to go on GitHub. GitHub is a repository for downloading tools and softwares that we use for um, our exploitation. So I will come to my browser. All right, so I will type in GitHub. Come to my browser and I will type in GitHub. GitHub.com github.com so just just a moment while it loads okay so our github is here you don't necessarily need to to have an account to be able to download from github so once you just come in once the page loads you see the search bar here just by my right hand here you click on it and you type in what you want to download what you're looking for cve slash search so this is what i want to download and I hit enter so i'll give it some time for it to load Okay, so um, our search result is in cve.search and always take notes, we want downloading from GitHub and ensure you are downloading the one that has a high rating, right? You can see this one has 2.2k likes, which is which shows that this is a good tool because a lot of persons have commented on it and also liked it. You can see the rest here are 164.83, so please do well to all go with what uh, the majority are using so you don't end up um, installing malware installing a file with malware or virus so um, I'll click on the fault alright give some time to load okay <clears throat> so basically there are two ways to install applications from github on our Linux machine um, you click on the code I can I can download the zip file as you can see the link here i can download the zip file uh or i can copy the, the the download url here the link here and clone it into my device so to, to clone is usually faster and it helps you save time um by running other dependables on its own but if you want to download the zip file you need to download the zip file on zip the file install it and sometimes upon installing the file you need to understand the process or how you can install a file but there are special commands that you use to install a file and there are other dependables of course that might be needed for you to be able to install that particular file so it's really a little techy but of course it's not hard um so uh, but i will show you both ways now so to install this uh going by method one you just copy the URL here, just click on this, you copy the URL, 
and we'll come back to our terminal come back to my terminal i think i have to terminal let me close one okay so i'll come back to our terminal this was the terminal we were using so to install application it's always advisable to install applications and in the opt directory so uh, but uh, regardless you can install your applications anywhere but it's always advisable to install your applications in the opt directory so to navigate to the opt directory for instance or you just use cd space dash first arrows forward slash dash opt this way right run la i'll do hit enter and you can see we are in the opt directory you can see the part so if i do an ls here to use the files i have here you can see i have all the files here right so um we'll just close this now we want to install our file inside this directory so to install we do sudo since we are not a super user since we are not logged in as an ad uh, as a root user we use the sudo command because uh, what we want to do requires privilege access so we use the sudo permission privilege sudo uh, git clone git clone because we're trying to clone our application into this particular directory git git clone sudo git clone git space uh, space git clone and um, now we paste we paste what we copied right we paste that particular um link we copied to paste you can right click right click and you see paste clipboard or paste selection both does the same thing or you can use a short command control shift and v it will paste our command so you can see github this is the link we copy cv search and i will hit enter so automatically it will start unpacking all the dependables for that particular application and the tools so you can see how the another started I don't need to do anything sometimes it might require you there are some applications that when downloading it might require require you to give some consent based on the kind of packages it is unpacking into your system at some point you see if you want this package to continue type yes or type no sometimes you just need to just type the y alone to give consent right or type yes and hit the end time to continue so now you can see uh we've been we've successfully cloned this application into this um, directory so to see the application we'll do an ls remember the name of the application is cve dash search so you can see our file here cve dash search so um that's one way to install application so we have cve to open that file you can just do cve dash uh, sorry cd it's a directory so cd cve dash search and we hit enter if i do an ls now you can see we are inside this particular uh, directory where we have our cve that's that so again like like i said so this app uh, this particular tool is a tool that helps you to search for known vulnerabilities uh perform local searches for known vulnerabilities i won't be able to show you how to use this file at the moment because uh this lesson was just to show you how to download and install applications so uh, this one method to install this application let's try the other method which is to download the zip file and unzip the file so download the zip file or hit enter on the download so it will download the zip file into our download directory into our download folder so uh, I'm not sure it has downloaded. I'm not sure, but let's check that. Uh, okay, it just okay. You can see the notification here. The download has just been completed. So, uh, but we can also what you can do on GitHub. You can also read up on this particular tool. What you can use this tool for. So you can come down and read some notes as regarding this tool, right? There are other guides and as well how to use this tool you can see the usage and um of course uh, uh every other thing you can do with this tool and sometimes they can show you how to install this tool as well so go back to our terminal um i'll now navigate back to my download directory because that's where uh, the file is downloading so you can see 
to go to the download directory okay, if you do pwd just to see where we are now you can see we are in the opt directory in the cvsr directory so to go to the the download download is usually on our kali home directory so um you can just do short you can just do cd you can use this particular sign and forward slash and download this this will automatically jump from wherever you are it will take you straight into that particular directory that you want to go so you take note of this command cd and my asterisk here i can't tell the, the name of this particular string here uh this it seems like a dash but it's not really a dash and um uh, forward slash and you put in your download so with this now it will take you straight to the download folder wherever you are so you can see we are inside the download directory so if i do an ls here to see what we have here you can see this okay you can see C cve search master.zip so this is our file. so all we need to do now is you can see it's dot zip so it's a, it's a zip file so we need to unzip this file now so to unzip the file we use a simple command unzip I'll teach you other other ways and methods to unzip because there are other forms of 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 zip, right? It's not only just the zip command. There are other ways of of compressing files. So you need to understand how to how to uh, uh, decompress this file and how to unzip this file. I beg your pardon. So we use the, for for this zip now. We use unzip space and we enter the name of the file exactly the way it is written. So you can see cve master.zip and when we enter it's automatically so you can see it's, it, it has automatically unzip and unpacked the file into our our system and it will create a new folder in the direct in the download directory and with the same name so you can see it now it's not carrying the dot zip again but we have the dot zip here this dot zip is on the red you can see the one with blue now um it's actually the one with blue is is the unzipped file right so now to open it you can just do cd cve and enter do an ls now so you can see our files so um but but with this now we have not installed this application we have only downloaded and unzip this application so for every application every software or every tool as the case may be there are specifications uh, that you must adhere to to install applications uh, what applies to one application might not literally apply to the other so that's why it's very important when downloading a file from github you read up on that file see how to download this file so but um my take from this file um this file will be installed using a python a python programming language so we can use pip3 to install this file so i can do pip3 for instance or what you can do you come back to your you go back to your browser go back to the, the github page the download page where you downloaded this and read up on the file see the uh, specifications for installation let me see if they specify um installation okay you can see python py uh usage ranking okay uh python 3 uh 3 uh i don't think they really specify how to install this application but um not to worry what we can do is um let me go back to our terminal all right so this is the requirements file that this file needs to run so that's the file we want to focus on here so to quickly install this we we'll use pip3 if you don't have pip3 installed you can install pip3 um do pip3 dash uh, the next thing we want to type in here is install or oh, sorry pip3 install install dash r dash r and um, specify requirements 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 dot txt and i'll hit the enter so basically this is how you install applications where sometimes um, especially when you download an application from github of course don't forget to read up the don't forget to read up the page on the the informations on github how to install um applications because for every application and every tools 
you see on github there are specific um uh, uh commands uh that can be used to install that particular file so you can see even while we looked up the installation we couldn't see the installation but of course um, there are a lot of ways to install applications which i already know which i've just shown you one way to do that using the pip3 install um so you can see it's it's now unpacking everything and downloading and trying to install all the dependables that will be needed for this application or tools to function effectively so um the download is the installation is going on currently as you can see so uh, for the usage to use this application of course i won't be going into that i won't be going into that for the sake of this class so i don't make the class too lengthy because i wasn't supposed to i was just supposed to show you how to install how to download and install applications right and also how to delete an application so uh once this installation is complete if you want to remove this application i will quickly show you how to remove this application right all right so let's just give it some time i think it, sh it should be almost done now so once installation completes it will exit this it will exit by itself um it will it will cancel by itself um remember just like i told you um installing of applications is not really suitable on on any folder at all but it's preferably preferably on the opt directory uh, even though i'm doing this on the download folder that's because immediately after this installation um since i'm using it just a test i would delete this application probably if i if i have a need for it i will install it again in the opt directory so uh you can see all right so you can see um i have my i have my cursor back at the home tab now i can i can issue my command now it has completed so successfully installed flux 2.1.1 you can see bootstrap 4. Point. so these are all the these are all the installations the dependables that this tool needs to work with and it has successfully installed this tool and um, you can see just take it up you can see all the downloads that it did all right so um this is one way of installing an application so let me show you how to remove this software for instance now so um to remove this we can just do um sudo okay let me go back let me leave the directory uh okay better better so i'm out of that directory so and to remove the tool now will be sudo apt um just a minute app get app space get um we do remove remove and you specify the name of the software uh, name of the tool or all right so with that being said we've come to the end of today's lesson if you're just joining me please do well to hit the like button and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you all in my next video